Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. You all saw my video, didn't you, replying to Tony Bellew? Because Tony Bellew likes to go on about certain days, Dylan White, 1000 days mandatory, Wilder, it's for cab drivers for 800 days, last 800 days. Not true, and I've proved that, and other channels have. Here's another, here's another one for you, this is from my pal Dale Nichols. 1,216 days ago, Deontay Wilder were flown over first class from Alabama to London to go to Wembley to be a pundit for Joshua against Vladimir Klitschko. All to sell the fight. All we heard, all we heard of Eddie Hearn and Bean, Johnny Nelson, all we heard was Wilder against Joshua is next. That's what we heard. For all the marbles, what happened? 1,216 days ago, an offer was made for $80 million to Anthony Joshua. The money were there, it were proven. People like Lou DiBella, Don Majeski, people like that, they all saw the money. The funds were there, proof of funds were there. What have we had since then? Has Joshua been near Wilder? No, we filled his kecks. Filled his nappy. <laughs> Tyson Fury fought him twice. Joshua hadn't been nowhere near him. That tells you that they don't want to fight Tyson Fury, doesn't it? They want to keep the cash cow earning. But Tony Bellew likes to talk about days, 1,000 days, this, 800, that. Well, I like to talk about 1,216 days ago. Joshua Wilder for all the marbles. Your words, Eddie Yearn, your words. Come back to bite you in arse and it's like Dylan White. Who's he, who's he fought? Not fought for a European. Joshua's not fought Wilder, it's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. I'm gonna show you the video now. I'm gonna show you the video that I did on September the 5th. September the 5th, 2017, are you ready? There you go. September the 5th, 2017. Terry sent me it. He said, you sent me this three years ago, Porky. That was three years ago. <laughs> Joshua's not been near Vladimir. Uh, not been near Wilder, has he? He's been nowhere near. It's narratives and bullshit. That's what we're fed all the time. Now, people are now saying, why, why ain't Joshua fighting Wilder? Because they can earn millions by not having the hard fights. They don't want to be undisputed. They don't want to. I'm losing, I'm losing will to live here. These heavyweight champions, like Joshua, people like that, they don't want to be undisputed. They want to keep the millions rolling in and be known as the champ. They don't want to, they're, they're quite happy to be known as, well, I'm the champ, but there's another champ. There's Tyson Fury and there's me. They're happy for to be, to be two or three world champions. Could you imagine Muhammad Ali in his day? He wouldn't be able to settle, would he? Knowing that there's two champions. They couldn't, they couldn't hack it in them days, the golden generation. But yeah, we're told that this generation is the golden generation. And we've got Dylan White fighting men over 40s. In his last, is it six or seven fights, he's fought four men over 40, Dylan White. You have to check that out. I think it's four. Malcolm Tan, Wack, uh, Brown and Povetkin. Life and death with Vak and Povetkin. 
Brown were 20 stone, 40 year old, and Malcolm Tam were a journeyman, one not But point I want to make is, this is not the golden generation. Just because Eddie Hearn does a video and says, oh, it's the golden generation, kooks. Put that on your platform with 600 and odd thousand subscribers. And the fans listen to the bull. Well, I'm the, I, I'm the opposite end. I don't listen to crap. I call it as I see it, I'm very blunt and very, you could say arrogant, but I'm blunt. I don't suffer fools gladly. Ten years in prison taught me that. I've heard every story, every Padme I've had owned a Porsche. They're all big millionaires. What are they doing in jail then? There's about two millionaires in each jail in country. They're not, they're not in every cell. So I've heard every story, everything. I've seen it, done it, got the t-shirt, washed it and ironed it, and then went and bought another t-shirt. I've heard it all before. Now when Wilder came over, I knew what was going to happen. I knew. I remember being at the Wilder Audley Harrison fight and sat next to Joshua. And he filled his nappy when Wilder set about Audley Harrison. We all saw what happened, didn't we? Round one windmill job, wasn't it? They didn't want that fight from that day. They didn't want it from that day. Because he's got something that can send you into orbit. They didn't want it from that day. Alright. So, 1,216 days ago, Tony Bellew. Wilder were flown over first class to help promote the Joshua Klitschko fight. He's not been near, he's been nowhere near Joshua since. They've not allowed Joshua to go near him. Why? Because he's got dynamite in each hand. And he's got a glass jaw, hasn't he, Joshua? Oh, big Dossa Femi, the big weightlifter. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Shout out to AKA Skins, I know you're watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Skins. Alright, after washing Joshua's car, you mug.